G'day folks, this is a 6.5 kilowatt sharp air conditioner we picked up today. No idea what's wrong with it, although the amount of cobwebs and things that were around the outside of this condensing unit indicates it hadn't been opened. I'm guessing the problem's in here. For starters it's filthy, nobody's cleaned it. The front fascia wasn't included, I think that was thrown in the rubbish bin but everything else is there. I think I might just hook it up and see if I can get something out of this. See what's wrong with it. Well, I got this thing hooked up. I just tried it before without the uh, wall panel hooked up to it electrically and didn't get a damn thing out of it. A little red indicator LED comes on the PCB, but that's it. No relays or anything. So I got it hooked up. Power and control. Let's just try another shot. Lights on. Starting up. Oh, that light. Delay! And just pull them back in here. That's a good sign. I wonder what's really wrong with it. I know it's got gas in it. They all do. I wonder if it's a problem in here or maybe the remote control died. Oh, I'll pull this panel apart and just see what's going on. Unless, of course, the reversing valve stuffed or something. It's always a possibility. I mean, it's the middle of winter here, so I'm guessing they were using it as a heat pump and maybe it stopped heating. No, I'll have a bit of a play around with it. Well, the evaporator's nowhere near as bad as the last one. No mould or horrible smell. Still a bit of dust in it, though. The good part is I found the wiring diagram. Got all the info on uh, the circuit as well as what the indicator LED means. It will tell you whether there's short circuits in the thermistors, open circuits, compressor failure, serial signal line, that sort of thing. Quite good. Likewise all the electrics come straight out so I can hose this evaporator out without destroying anything. It's pretty good. clean up okay and then I'll uh, try and diagnose what the LED is saying. There's bound to be something wrong with it. They wouldn't have replaced it for nothing. So I'll get it back together and have a look. Whoever installed this one liked their solder and duct tape. We've got one, two on the liquid line and one, two, three on the suction line. And we're going from really small tube all the way up to what almost looks like water pipe. In 3 8 to 5 8 or even smaller, quarter to 5 8. At least it's not getting smaller as it goes down. I have seen that before and that's a disaster. But as long as it works, I suppose. And this thing might have been relocated and reinstalled so they had to add extra piping. It obviously worked for a while. The condensing unit seems okay. I think it's just an electrical bug. Likewise, they didn't armor flex it properly. We've got condensate pooling down here and rotting everything out. Bits of armor flex duct tape together. Not the tidiest job I've seen.